Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. And today I am doing a review and testing of the Suaoki Laser Distance Meter product and looking forward to putting it to the test. It looks really cool and always impressed with the company. They've got great products and I'm sure this will not disappoint. Very nice packaging as always and I think that says a lot with a company that puts in uh, together a nice packaging and uh, so this is really well done, very nice. Uh, laser distance meter, distance area. Uh, I can't pronounce a couple of these other uh, types of measurements that they do, but uh, they do some other types of measurements that I've never had a need for, but uh, interesting enough, it does do some other types of measurements. So this is the D8, uh, it uh, does up to 40 meters it looks like. So we'll go ahead and take, do an open boxing and then I'll go ahead and set up the batteries, uh, get to use it for a little bit and then come back and show you a few things and give you my final thoughts. So there is the product. Let's take a look. Very nice, feels very nice in the hand. It's got a very nice uh, rubberized material. Uh, the back side as well as the front is a harder plastic. Uh, the buttons are very nice, actually soft. They're nice rubberized buttons, so very nice there. Uh, so you got measurement and unit, uh, and then I will learn about this. This is for doing other kind of measurements. You got the laser, very nice. And then it does come with batteries, by the way, uh, but it does take two. It does take two batteries uh, in here. It takes two AAA batteries. So you've got that there. And then, as I mentioned, it does come with the batteries. So it comes with batteries there. Uh, it also looks like it comes with a bell clip. So that's kind of cool. So let's see how that might work. I see right here. So basically, if you have a need, you can go ahead and clip it there. And then now you have a bell clip. So very cool. And then if you want to remove it, there's a button here you can press and then that should release it, which it does. So very cool there, plastic uh, clip holder. Okay. <coughs> and then we have the booklet, the user manual. So I'm gonna go through the user manual, set everything up, get the batteries in, uh, play with it for a little bit, and then I will be back to share some highlights with you of this very cool looking product. Okay, so I've had a chance now to use this for a little bit. A very, very cool tool to be able to, for me personally, benefit from the the inches as well as the feet. And it's mightily close. It's not perfect, but I've found it's very close and you can get maximum, minimum, and you really, uh, it just will make your life that much easier when you're doing measurements. Uh, one of the other ways too, those that are in construction or need to get a bigger area of measurements, this will have the capability. I don't really have experience with that, so won't be able to really help you there. But uh, as far as for me uh, measuring uh, inches and as well as feet, this is great. So actually, I just want to show you those two examples here. I just got to adjust my camera to uh, at a different angle because when I turn the screen on it finds at this angle this way it's the screen is too bright so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you now but from what I see I definitely would give this easily a five star it's it's a very neat product that will definitely come in handy but let me show you now a couple of examples here with uh, both in feet and inches okay so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this to you as far as the inches and feet First, I am going to go ahead and power on. And once we get that on, you'll see. So now what I can do is I can press unit. And then once I press unit, I've got feet. If I press and hold it again, I've got inches. So what I'm going to do is actually where the pointer is against the wall over there, I'm going to measure the distance there. So now I'll hold it down because this is giving the best angle for uh, getting uh, clarity on the screen. So now if I press the measurement button just one time, it's going to measure a single time. It's going to do one single measurement to the wall. So I'm gonna press the button once, and the measurement is 20 or 204 inches. Now if I were to go back and clear it, and it's back at zero, and now I press and hold 
the measurement button, you will hear beeps. So now what it's giving you until I press it again, it's going to give you continuous measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and press it again, and now it's going to stop. And you can see 204 and 5 eighths inches. Now if I go ahead and press clear, it's going to clear. And now I can change to units. And I'm going to do feet. Now let's just do one time feet. And that is 17.257 feet. And now if I clear, or I just do, I'm going to do, yeah, I'll just clear it out. And now I'm going to hold the button down. And so it's going to continue measuring. So let's see, I'm just going to press the button again. And there you go. So that will give you the maximum and the minimum. And then on the bottom, that's uh, the uh, measurement that uh, it's come up with. And as you can see, uh, it shuts off after a few seconds too to save on the battery life. So again, very nice product. I would definitely give this five stars. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But again, this also can be used for more than just the inches and feet as I've shared with you for those that have needs for doing area uh, measurements. All right, everybody, have a great day. Five stars, great product. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.